Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, check this out. I caught some yellow jackets. Was that a smart move? Well, probably not. See, yellow jackets are wasps. And unlike bees that usually sting one time and lose a stinger, the yellow jacket does not lose its stinger. Yellow jackets can sting you multiple times and they are known to have a very painful sting. I should know. So what I did was I snuck up on this small yellow jacket's nest that night and I got the container and I thumped it in there really quick and I put the cap on it. And then all those wasps came boiling out of the nest because really when I saw the nest, we had to get rid of it. It was, it was in a dangerous place. People were going to get stung. Hey, we got to go spray it or get rid of it. I said, hey, I'm going to capture it. And since it was dark, and I don't want to say it was cold, it was coolish, it was probably about 68 to almost 70 degrees Fahrenheit, well, because, you know, it's summertime and it was freaking hot during the day. What I mean by hot is, you know, it's freaking hot. It's in the 90s. Well, you know, mid-90s, 94, 95, but freaking hot, right? Relatively speaking, since it's in the 90s during the day, when it's about 70 degrees at night, these yellow jackets thought, oh, that's cool. And, you know, cool as in cold, not cool as in a. So, yeah, that was my Fonzie imitation. When I came up to the yellow jacket's nest, there was only five or six of them on the outside of the nest. And they were, like, asleep and not moving. And, well, at least I thumped them into that container. And they were, man, they were PO'd. Can you say PO'd on YouTube anymore? I guess it depends what P&O stands for, right? But let me tell you, these, they were not happy. They came boiling out of that nest, and they're all flying around. I got that cap on real quick. I think one or two might have escaped. But really, it's it was good, because I didn't get stung, and we saved somebody. Well, I mean, I work with some people who are allergic to bee stings and wasp stings. They have to carry an EpiPen with them, and, you know, they could croak. So I saved somebody's life last night. Now let me bring this full circle and tie this back to the situation we have. Black Widow infestation, right? Wasps eat black widows. Yellow jackets are a kind of a wasp. They're a type of wasp. And I can't tell you how many times I've said, are you guys crazy? You want me to turn wasps loose inside my house? Well, we're not going to do that. But maybe we can catch some spiders and put them in with these wasps, these yellow jackets, and see what they do. Of course, as a natural form of spider and pest control, because in nature, these things capture the bugs, the spiders, and then they put them down in that little nest with the larva, and they seal them in there, and then when the larva, I don't know, they hatch or whatever they do, they got that live spider in there to snack upon. We've made no secret that if we're going to have to kill one bug or one creature, it might as well be for a good cause, you know, to be fed to another bug or another creature. It's the cycle of life. So now my big problem is i got to figure a way to get this container open to get a spider and bug in there without all these, you know, blah, coming out and attacking me and killing me. I'm thinking about doing it at nighttime and get that spider in there and maybe to give the spider a chance to maybe make a little web or something but yeah, I don't know because these things are scary I got them in that sealed container and now I can't open the container oh yeah and one last thing yes I know this isn't the best quality video in the world I'm dealing with glare coming off the off the container they're in hopefully for my next video I'll be able to get a better angle or use better lighting to uh, get rid of that glare and that little cloudiness you're seeing as we are filming through this plastic container because no I'm not going to take it out and film it these monsters are gonna stay in that plastic container so if any of you have any good ideas on how I can get some spiders in there without these things all escaping just hey, let me know leave them comments in the comments section and I'm not going to end the video right here, but I'll end the part of me talking and yammering on. So I will just uh, sign out and say goodbye now, and we'll leave this video playing so you can keep checking out what these yellow jackets are doing. Because it is fascinating. They're busy little bees. Busy as bees! <laughs> All right, so, yeah, except with a whole lot worse sting. They pack a, pack a punch, you know, pack a wallop. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching, and hey, keep watching the video until it ends, or you can just drop out now. All right, thanks for watching.
Jagermeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube. <laughs>